everybody, Max here from Max Playground and welcome to another video in The Sims 4. This video is a renovation collab that I'm doing with Simmerkey or as I usually refer to her as Steph. So basically we decided to do a renovation of an apartment and we wanted to collab on it and because I've been doing so much CC lately she said do you, you want to collab and do a CC? version of an apartment that I'm going to renovate and I said yeah do like any pick any apartment and I'll do a renovation of it because I know she didn't want to build something so she decided to renovate one of the Zen View apartments now I don't know which one it is but it is in the Zen View apartment building in the fashion district so um she did a really cute job and I will show a picture of it like at the end to show you guys what like the one or two pictures um, Basically where her living room is I made the kitchen and where she had the kitchen I made um, the living room and I kind of put in a small little bathroom because there's only was there was only one bathroom in this uh, this original um, apartment, so I kind of wanted to go with a tumbler theme uh, I've been watching so many Tumblr videos, um, Sims Tumblr videos on Facebook, or wow, I did that mistake again, on YouTube, and I wanted to do one of my own. I've never really attempted it before because I've been so scared to do it and scared that it's not going to be as good as of uh, some of the amazing ones out there. So I gave it my gave it a shot and tried my best, and I think I did an okay job, to be honest, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I did a decent job. Um, basically, if you don't know what like a Tumblr aesthetic build is, it's to me, to me anyways, I should say, um, it's more like a really cluttered lived in look. A really, your walls are, you know, cluttered with a bunch of stuff. Sorry, my kitty is sitting on me. Um, the walls are cluttered with tons of stuff, a lot of paintings, a lot of pictures. Um, it's very, like, kind of shabby chic, the ones like the pictures that I've seen of Tumblr apartments anyways. Very shabby chic, some industrial to it. So like right now you guys see me making the kitchen and it's a little bit industrial, but very white and very clean. White is a very common color that you see in Tumblr builds I've or Tumblr rooms I've noticed or Tumblr apartments. White is very common. So I kept it white and gray and I was gonna do like a white, black, and gray, which is kind of what I did a little bit, but yeah. And for this, I didn't know what to do in like the little corner of the, the kitchen. So I added like um, toppable washing machines, which I know is not, it's obviously not functional, but because CC is wonderful or custom content is a beautiful thing, um, I included that in it. I was gonna put a bar in, but I said, nah, I. I actually barely, rarely ever put bars in my builds. I don't know why, but maybe I'll, I'll try to have to look for some custom content bars that don't look too blocky. I think that's my biggest thing with a lot of the Sims 2, or wow, Sims 4 objects from like the original, like the games, are they're really blocky furniture and it kind of throws me off a little bit. I find it looks a little bit unrealistic. So I kind of go for that alpha custom content look. Um, yeah, so basically I put in toppable, um, a part, a toppable apartment washing machine and dryer. I find that's such a common thing that I've seen in a lot of apartments. I've noticed them, I noticed it a lot in the like, apartments that I was checking out while I was building this, like just to get inspiration from. And I just decided to go with that. At first I had like some bins there, like um, some garbage bins and stuff, but I didn't, I didn't stick with it. I did the island and it, <laughs> it was so hard trying to get a chair on a diagonal with the island was in place. I had to like place like two chairs there so that it wouldn't snap to the grid. And I'm pretty sure there's even, I don't know if there's a cheat in The Sims 4 like items not snapping to the grid, but if there is, I didn't, I'm not aware of it. But I don't, I'm not really aware of a lot of The Sims 4 cheats anyways, so I uh, probably should get on that. Anyways, um, continuing on with me rambling about me doing this build. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had to like stack a lot of stuff that you guys can see because it would snap to the 
the grid and i would try to like raise the objects and it wouldn't raise so it was kind of that was the only annoying and tedious part about building this um another annoying and tedious part was like doing the paintings and the cover wall coverings at the end was like i don't know i didn't know i was running out of custom content to use but i did i were like running out of like that that aesthetic that i was like that that style that i was looking for like i had a lot of different cc even just use like things i can use in the game that are already there but it didn't match the style or the colors didn't match so it would throw the whole it would look really weird i found a little bit that i did kind of do that but eh, meh. <laughs> yeah um i really had fun with it though just adding clutter i love clutter it i the way i do my builds is or my cc builds I, if you guys have ever watched my sims 2 or my I can't even, well, a couple of my Sims 3 builds, but my Sims 2 builds, I, or Renos, I add so much clutter and I make it look really lived in. Like, when I, when I, I'm building or renovating a house in The Sims, I think of it as if I were to be walking into the build, or walking into this apartment, house, whatever, this lot, and I would be walking into it, I would feel weird to see very, very, like, clean and empty spaces in the house where I would normally be lived in and fuller like so when I go to like show like lot or how in real life when I go to like house tours or like house showcases I actually go to a lot you'd be surprised <laughs> especially for like like I don't know how, if they do this in your city or your country or anything like that but they have like um like con contests you buy tickets and it usually goes to it it goes to a charity more than more often than not to like for like for the one here in like where I live it's called there's one for like the Kingsman house and the other one I think is like the heart of hearing or some heart and stroke or something like that and you buy a ticket and you like tour the house and you get a chance to win it but the thing is getting back to my main point is that the houses I find are always so like clean there's not very much clutter they, but they're beautiful and they're decorated really nicely but there's no clutter in them so like I, when I look, when I walk into somebody's house, like a friend or something, I always just look at like the cute little knickknacks that they have on their, on their like tables or their shelves or like the pictures that they're on their, on their wall with their family or just really cool like art and stuff like that. Like that's what I look like or look at when I go into houses or people's houses, my friends' apartments, etc. So that's kind of like how I decorate my stuff. I just add a lot of matching clutter or like clutter that would fit that aesthetic kind of thing. So I'm using a weird aesthetic a lot, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's not out of place anyways. <laughs> but yeah, um, I had a lot of, I've had a little bit of issues. I did the, I did some of the stuff off camera, like I did um, the balcony off camera and I, you guys just get a little glimpse of it in the screenshots, which I've included a lot of. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty with the living room and finding how I wanted to do the entertainment unit. and. So I kind of like added stuff and then I didn't know what bookcases I wanted to use but I ended up going with the one like the nice one that came from City Living. It's kind of like in the it's not really directly where the, the couch and stuff is but it's like where it's on the like as you guys can see in it it's where like the um along the wall so you kind of pass it to get to the bathroom kind of deal. So I did that um I went with the blue theme. Um, like a turquoise aqua kind of blue and I carried into the upstairs um, area with the walls and some of like the accessories and stuff like that and it was really hard because lately whenever I go into the sims and just kind of mess around with custom, con custom content and like building I always go right for that black and white theme because I absolutely love it so much that I'm even planning to do a black and white theme apartment and um because like my favorite one that i've ever seen that's not even a custom content is by sim proof she did a black and white i think it was a penthouse i think and i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous which how she did it and she did it with all like objects that are in the game i had a hard time saying that she did it all with objects that are from city living and just other game packs and stuff like that and I thought it was absolutely beautiful and ever since I saw that just like my mind goes right right to um, that that bill like that like that color scheme and I love it so I was like building in this in the bedroom and I didn't know if I would I color scheme I wanted to go with I was gonna change the walls all to gray and go with like that but I decided that I'm gonna stick with kind of like go like how I have it downstairs a little bit airy a little bit girly kind of colors 
Um, if you guys hear banging around in the background, it's my boyfriend who just woke up from a nap. But, um, anyways, yeah, so, like, that's the kind of theme I went with. And, um, I wanted to keep it, like, because it is in the fashion district, and I, the sim that I picture living here is, like, I always do this for when I do my builds. I picture a, a certain kind of sim that will live here, and I picture, like, a, a high fashion kind of girl, but not, like, a snobby high fashion girl, like, someone who is girly and loves like pastel colors and like solids though at the same time and who went with like Google's who's a fashion critique or a fashion guru or maybe even a beauty guru you know I didn't theme it directly around beauty guru though I kind of want to do a room build for that but um yeah I just kind of like themed it that way with the tumblr theme like of course i can't forget that and i the, like the where i did the computer room i loved what i did with it actually not to toot my own horn or anything but i loved the way it turned out and it was funny because i was gonna include like the bubble blower or like a hookah but i'm like mm, no that's like not the like not the style that i'm really going for for this build and um yeah so i decided to just go with that and um this took me Cause I was, I had to split it up in a couple of different, um, like different days that I built this over. I actually built it over like four or five days and I, cause I had to work, I, I, I work overnight. So I would do it just like, just before I went and took my nap to go to work before work. And I'd have to stop and I'm like, Oh, I just want to get this done. Like I'm the kind of person that'll really like sit down and go like all, like go all out, go hands and do my building. So it could take me anywhere from like three to four hours sometimes or even six hours I sat there for like six or three hours at a time took a small break and went back to it but this one I split it up so I was really able to like come back to it and decide whether I liked it or not and then there was one point where I thought I lost all my progress because of a, I accidentally saved over it or something because I I like I don't play this game very much and like play wise and I don't like think about like saving kind of like different files and I realized I started looking through all the files since they've kind of changed all that I don't need, I knew it was probably like that before but since they changed it and did a different layout on like the home screen the main menu screen I realized like I have a ton of different files and different saves in those files so, like different like um different builds in different like files and stuff like that so I was going to, I had to go through a lot of them because there's another collab that I'm doing with Simmer Key or Steph it's a tiny living community and I was like oh my god like where is that where to go like why isn't it and I, I ended up finding it but um yeah and that's another um build that's kind of been on the back burner but I want to get to it really soon and finish it off it's basically a tiny living community and she's done one before on her channel but this one she asked me if I wanted to do like I think there's eight houses and she wanted me to decorate four of them but I can't use CC in it because it's killing me it's killing me but I actually did some came up with some pretty cool designs for a couple of the houses there's like a 4x4 and then there's a couple of like smaller houses and the one I did I had a really fun time doing so you guys will see that in I don't even I'm not even gonna say when I hopefully before this month or the month of April ends because <laughs> it's a very like it's a summery spring type of view you guys hear my boyfriend blowing your blowing his nose I am so sorry <laughs> but yeah it's a very summery type spring kind of um kind of build and in where i'm living where i live i live in canada and spring is like it's the, it's the, like it's springtime but it, like it's still like winter's like holding on to it's like holding on with its dear life it, it, there was actually snow flurries today so oh i hope that it's all it's then there's still snow on the ground <laughs> do not uh, i envy people who live in mild temperature um, weather is I can't stand super hot temperatures. I actually go into like I get really heat stroke really bad if it's too hot and um, my apartment I actually have had to have um, Like um, AC in my apartment for the past like two summer or last summer and then this summer I know I'm gonna have it because I'm on the top floor of my building uh, Which is two floors, but yeah um, So I, I get really hot really quickly and I can't be outside for too long when it's really cold because my body just re doesn't react to it very well. I have like nerve issues with my body. I have like, um, it's kind of like fibromyalgia. I kind of suffer with that and temperature affects me. I don't know how if it affects other people usually, but it affects my nerves. So being in like extreme temperatures 
is like the worst thing. Like, so I can't stand super, super hot places. I can't stand super cold places. So I'm so envious of people who have like, are like mild temperature, mild tempered um, living places or like locations that they live in. I wish Sudbury was more, or um, yeah, Sudbury was more like that. Uh, I always have like this weird thing where I don't like to say where I live and then I'll always like accidentally blurt it out. Yeah, I'm Canadian, that's all that matters. <laughs> um, so anyways, getting back to the build, um, I'm kind of like working on the bed right now and it started going into my black and white theme. I didn't know if I wanted to do like the black and the white and then I was, like I said, I was going to make it all gray. But I said no, I'm going to continue with the blue and the, like the aqua colors, or the accents I should say. And I went with a dark flooring because I thought it looked nice, it, it, like it, I don't, I don't want to say clash because it's not the word, it like contrasted I guess would be, like, like it looked nice with the, the bright walls and the dark floors, I thought it looked good. So I added that in and um, right now I'm just going through all like just different clutter that I have where I can add to my, um, add to unless it's like the time lapse on this is really slow um when it comes to like my voice and recording what, what's going on in the video but anyways working on the closet aspect of it and just going through all the clutter i have i kind of do that a lot where i'll add just a bunch of clutter to just a random place and i know that i'm going to use so i'll go through it because i have so much of it then my cc clutter and just my regular game clutter and instead of just like going and picking like specific things out and adding to where I'm gonna add it I'll just add a bunch of it on the floor and as I'm building I'll do it so um yeah working in the closet area I kind of liked how I did it like there was originally just like a wardrobe that came with I think it was get together they that's what yeah get together can we get together and I just kind of like took it out and added my own little custom content kind of closet I've seen a lot of really cool um, closets that people have kind of made in The Sims 4 and I just I've seen ones where they add like little windows I've done that I did that in my opposite twins and like Lilith's side of the bedroom um, or like the grungier side of the bedroom I made it a little bit of a, a thing there I made in a closet with a window and not really walk-in but this one here isn't even a walk-in closet it's just like a wardrobe where you can like move and open and I added like a bunch of clutter in that and then I gave this um, bedroom like a little area where you could apply your makeup like I guess a beauty table kind of thing I don't have glamour life stuff um, I actually that's the next stuff pack that I'm getting um, I didn't even get the bowling one which I'm not really sure if I want to get it yet um, just from different reviews it looks like there's a really cool rockabilly vibe and I like that and I, cause I, I love rockabilly themed things and parties and stuff like that. I love diners. I think like old 50s diners are really cool. I actually did a 50s diner when I got dine out. But um, no, I just, I don't know if I want to like want to do one. I kind of do. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get it. But I want to get Glamour Life stuff because I love all the objects that were included in that. And I loved how like it had like a old Hollywood kind of theme. And I thought think that would be really cool to be able to incorporate for like some of my room builds. And I just like the items, even though I could get a lot of these items, like makeup and stuff, as you guys see I do have, um, I could get that on custom content, but I like that one dresser, and I like, like, just, I don't know, I, I, like, it's part of me doesn't even think buying stuff packs is worth it, but a part of me does, like, when I wasn't doing builds with CC, I kind of, like, got bored really quickly when I would do my builds, because I wouldn't have a whole lot of options, especially with, like, pictures, and with like windows like windows i that's another reason why like i'm starting to love renovating apartments because i don't have to worry about putting in windows <laughs> i hated that i hate doing windows and building i'm really horrible at it not because of like just there's not very many options and i'm really bad at placing them like where to place them and like the variety of different windows and I always try to stick to the same ones and I realize that's not really realistic so I always have such, so much trouble and like when I'm in out in my like walking in real life I know like I'll look at like houses and I'll look to see like at, I look at like the architecture like the structure of the house because I can't like I can't really just go and say hey can I take a peek at your house for a second like for inspiration um no but I look at like the way the, sh the house looks and I check out the windows and I notice that not all windows are the same there's a variety of different kinds of windows some big some small in certain areas on the building 
So I kind of realized like I gotta mix shit up <laughs> when I'm doing building from scratch and I haven't done a, like a custom just straight from the scratch build in a long time. So um, you guys kind of see it in my in, like you guys will see my variety of windows in my little tiny living community collab that I have with stuff going on. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, I think I'm moving on to yeah, I'm moving on to the um, the computer room area and I kind of like cut some of the footage so that you guys wouldn't be sitting here waiting or watching this for 40 minutes because I know I probably wouldn't stick around or I wouldn't pay so super attention to a 40 minute video of building and rambling so yeah um anyways I'm moving on to like I moved on to like the, the study area and stuff had like this really cool dividing um thing I think it was one that came from dine out and so I took that out and I put like these custom content like they're not windows but they're like separating things and I because I kept up with that at first I was gonna add a, like another room like a toddler room or like a gym area but I decided that like I'm not doing I'm not it's not a fa like going with like the rest of the apartment it's not really a family friendly place it's in the fashion district and I think like I said I think of like a girl who's like a fashion critique a high fashion girl and I don't really see someone like that having kids very much so um, I made her like a computer area for her and to go with the tumbler aesthetic I added tons of clutter on the wall I actually have seen some of like the clutter specifically like that um, that like um, the picture frame that's empty and has like string and you can add your own little things on that I've seen that in like because I watch a lot of design videos on t on YouTube and some of them I watch is like um, tumblr decor that you can make like DIY tumblr decor and I've seen that and I actually really want to do that in real life I get like a picture frame painted and make it look like kind of like crackles kind of thing and put like my own little like my string across it and my add my little paintings or pictures and notes and stuff like that to it so yeah um I hope you guys are enjoying this build and I am really sorry that I did not include the CC links. A lot of you guys have been asking me uh, where I get my CC. Basically, I type everything into Google and find it there. I get it on the Sims resource and uh, Pinterest. Pinterest is like the god for finding, as, as weird as that is, but it is the god for finding a bunch of CC. So there's that and um, I also just, like I said, type everything into Google, go on Tumblr, The Sims Resource, even Mother Sims has really cool stuff for The Sims 4. So um, check those ones out. Sometime soon I am going to start including my CC links to my videos. Um, just when I build, um, when I do that, I just, I have so much stuff that I have to do like in my life right now so it's it's really hard to like sit down and do all the links for spe every specific item so yeah so um i'm gonna be leading into the uh screenshot soon i hope you guys did enjoy this and don't forget to leave a comment below and please guys don't forget to um check out stephanie or simmer keys uh collab video for this apartment i will leave those links in the description below check out her channel and uh things like that she's really cool and has a lot of great footage on her content and footage on her channel so i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world guys bye